everybody, how are ya? I'm Seth Goldman and here is your entertainment buzz. Man, what a night, a dark night I should say. Better yet, what a weekend overall for Batman at the box office. It's simple, kill the Batman. <laughs> The Dark Knight flew over last year's Spider-Man 3 to set a new opening weekend record with more than $155 million. The sequel starring Christian Bale and the late Heath Ledger as the Joker also had the best single day in ticket sales and top midnight opening. Mamma mia, here I go again, my, my, how can I resist ya? Believe it or not, there were other new movies released over the weekend, among them NBC Universal's Mamma Mia, in second place with $27.6 million. You're a superhero, for God's sakes. People should love you. And in third, another superhero, Hancock, with $14 million bucks, a three-week take with $191.5 million big ones. And rounding out the top five, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and last weekend's winner, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Now, as far as the other movie that opened up over the weekend, Space Chimps, that debuted in a modest seventh place. All right, from the big screen now to the small screen. NBC's America's Got Talent is the number one TV show, followed by Wipeout, The Bachelorette, CSI, and another dose of The Bachelorette. Now, listen up for the music charts. Lil Wayne's got the top album, the second Coldplay, the Camp Rock soundtrack, Beck, and Kid Rock. And finally, Katy Perry has a top single. Rihanna takes a bow. Lil Wayne, Chris Brown, and Leona Lewis is in the five spot. And as you saw throughout this buzz, if you want to get text alerts to your cell on daily entertainment headlines, just text BUZZ to 46833 and standard text rate supply. All right, that is your entertainment buzz. I'm Seth Goldman for NBC Mobile in New York.